Alright, so we're going to start off with your basic Corona bottle and a tile saw that you would use just to cut regular tile. It's a wet saw. Now, since we're working with glass, the three things you want to have on you are protection. You want your dust mask, your glasses, and a good pair of gloves for your hands because there are particles around. You don't want to get anything that on you. Um, now, I have it preset up here for our four inches. I just attached a block of wood. So that way when we run this straight through the bottle cutter, we have our perfect four inches. Our bottle bricks are made to eight, and so we'll have two halves, stick them right together. So to start off, we're going to take this, put the butt up against your board here, and now when you cut it, you're going to make sure you spin it the bottle backward, because the blade's coming down this way, and you want to get the most point of contact here. So I'll gear up, and let's do this. It's as simple as this, very slowly. all there is to it. Now we're just going to give it a quick rinse. All right, so now that you have your half cut bottle washed, you're going to make sure you thoroughly dry it, get all the moisture out of there. Any water that's left inside the bottle when you make the brick is going to stay in your wall forever. So you're going to make sure you get all of that out and give it a nice little clean rub down so you have no water spots at all. And over here I have a little Bud Light Platinum that I cut in half and I'll attach these two with your basic packing tape. Um, pretty much all, whenever you set these in your wall, you're going to make sure that the clear side is out so when the sun comes out, it's going to capture that light within the bottle and shoot it through the blue and give you that really nice effect on your wall that you're looking for. And here, you see we have a finished bottle brick ready to be laid.